In this lesson, I'll show you two important trigonometric identities for when you have sine x plus minus cosine x. Now you might find this helpful whenever you have sine x minus cosine x and you want to reduce two terms into a single term. Notice that the equivalent expression is a single term with sine and that's when the two are being subtracted and when the two are being added, you have cosine and everything else stays the same. Now I do want to make one note just before I show you how this is done and that is that the resultant expression has an amplitude that is greater than one. So when you subtract the cosine away from a sine wave, you end up with a new wave whose amplitude is greater than one. So its maximum and minimum will be bigger than a cosine or sine wave on its own. So let's start by changing this cosine x into an expression that has sine only. Now in case you forgot, cosine starts at zero and one, and it looks like this. One period of cosine x looks like this. And one period of sine x, it starts at zero and zero, and eventually makes its way back up by two pi. Now, to make cosine into sine, we have to shift the cosine curve pi over two to the right. And to show that, we say cosine x is equal to sine pi over two minus x. Now, as you may know, this is a common identity and we'll be applying it to that term. So we have sine x, that's the original term, minus sine bracket pi over two minus x. So now our expression contains only sine. And from here, we'll be using the sum to product formula so to convert these two terms into a single big term consisting of these three factors. According to the identity, we have alpha and beta. We'll call this alpha and we'll call that beta. And here's how it works. We have two sine, our alpha is x, and since these two are being subtracted, then we will have to subtract x minus all of that, pi over two minus x, and all that's being divided by two. And our third factor is cosine, again alpha is x, and this time we'll be adding x to pi over two minus x over two. Now we will simplify, so starting over here, I'll apply the distributive properties by multiplying the negative into these two terms. And we end up getting x with a negative times a negative is a positive. That gives us 2x minus pi over 2. And each of these will be divided by 2 because of that denominator 2. And for the other trigonometric function, we have cosine. And doing the same thing as before, x minus x makes 0 we have pi over two divided by two. If we simplify further, we end up getting two sine x minus pi over four, and over here, pi over two divided by two is pi over four. So we have cosine pi over four. That's a special angle. Cosine pi over four, equals the square root of two over two. And you can verify that on your calculator. Let me show you really quickly. Cosine pi over four, make sure that your calculator is in radians, gives you square root of two over two. So I'll replace all of that with the square root of two over two, and algebraically simplifying, that two and that two cancels out, leaving us with the square root of two sine x minus pi over four. And we have proven that the left side is in fact the right side. The proof to the second one is actually very similar to that of the first one. In fact, the only thing that changes is how you apply the sum to product formula. For example, this part remains the same, except for the fact that this should be plus. So let me just write that down for reference and you can do the rest. 
we should end up with sine x plus sine pi over 2 minus x. Again, we'll be applying the sum to product formula, but this time we'll be using the plus version. And so that part should be alpha plus beta, and that part should be alpha minus beta. I won't show you the complete simplification, but do trust me that you end up getting the square root of 2 cosine and in parentheses x minus pi over 4. And so there you have it. Two very important trigonometric identities that you can use whenever you're stuck and have two terms of different trigonometric functions and you want to combine them into a single term.